This is the second part of chapter 2. Mainly, we are going to deal with the circuit optimization. The goal of circuit optimization is to obtain the simplest implementation for a given function. When we get simplest implementation, then we will get the minimal cost hardware implementation. So optimization requires uh, then criteria. For example, when you write the program, we cannot simply say which is the most optimized program because a program could be optimized for its speed or its the length of the source program code or the memory required to run the program. So depending on which criteria, we should be able to tell optimization. So in uh, this uh, digital logic design, we could think of uh, three distinct cost criteria. So first one is literal cost, and the gate input cost. The gate input with the nuts uh, is uh, another cost criteria. So we have notation L, G, and GN for each of those. Uh, literal cost uh, is a simply the number of uh, literal appearances in the Boolean expression. So here, literal means a variable or its complement. So literal cost is most straightforward. For example, given function f, uh, the literal cost is simply the number of uh, literal appearances. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So first function, literal cost is 8. Second function, literal cost is uh, here we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here uh, we don't care the complexity of the expression. We simply count uh, number of uh, literal appearance. Uh, very straightforward. In this function, we have a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a literal cost of 10. So if those three are the same identical functions, then we can easily tell that the first one has the lowest literal cost. So it's the best design. Next criteria is called the gate input cost. The gate input cost is defined as a the number of inputs to the gates in the implementation corresponding exactly to the given equation or equations. So here is G is simply the number of inputs to all gates and GN is including inverters only. So G does not include in inverters but GN including for inverters. That's, that's the difference. So from uh, some of the products or product of some equations, uh, we can calculate uh, the gate input cost uh, as follows. First, uh, we find the uh, literal cost, uh, which is uh, all literal appearances. Uh, to that, we add uh, the number of uh, terms, uh, excluding single literal term. Then it becomes a uh, gate input cost. Uh, the, to the gate input cost, uh, we add a uh, number of uh, distinct complemented single literals. Uh, then it becomes a uh, gate input cost with a not. So for example, the first equation, f, uh, a literal cost is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So literal cost is uh, 8 uh, in this first uh, uh, function. And the gate input cost is uh, to the literal cost, uh, we add uh, the number of uh, terms. Uh, so in this expression, we have uh, three terms, uh, one, two, three, three product terms. So gate input cost is 11. To the gate input cost, uh, we add uh, the number of uh, distinct complemented uh, single literal. Then it becomes a uh, gate input cost. Uh, so in this expression, not B, not to C, not to D. We have a three distinct complemented literals. So we add the three to the eleven, then gate input cost with a not is a fourteen. Second function, literal cost is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So literal cost is a eleven 
and second the function expression and to the literal cost we add the number of terms so we have one two three four product terms so gate input cost is 15 gate input cost with the nuts is to add the number of distinct complemented literals so in this expression we have a not b not d and not c we have a two not b's up but we count only once because we count the distinct ones only so distinct complemented ones are three so we add a three to gate input cost then we have a 18 as a gate input cost with a nuts and the last function expression we have a literal cost of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so literal cost is a 10 for the last function expression and the gate input cost is add uh, the number of terms so we have a uh, one two three four four terms uh, so 14 becomes gate input cost uh, and the gate input cost with the nuts uh, is uh, to add uh, the distinct complemented the single literal so not b not d not c so we have a uh, not to be again but we don't count it's also already there so we had a three now gate input cost with a notch is 17 so if uh, all those three functions are identical then of course uh, or whichever uh, criteria you choose uh, literal cost or gate input cost or gate input with a notch the first one is the best Here is another example. We will show you <clears throat> the definition of a gate input cost, the gate input cost with the nuts and the literals, how it actually uh, interpreted in actual circuit implementation. Uh, literal cost, uh, by definition, is uh, simply the number of uh, appearances uh, in the, uh, of the literals. Uh, so we have a uh, one two three four five five is literal cost literal cost means uh, the inputs to all input gates uh, and uh, single literal input to or gate that's the meaning of a uh, literal cost uh, and uh, as it is a, a circle that is uh, represented in the logic diagram and uh, gate input cost uh, in the meanwhile we add uh, the number of uh, terms uh, not including single item so uh, blue uh, square those two are included because of that so gate input cost is uh, simply the sum of all inputs uh, in all gates and or, or gates so that's a definition of uh, gate input cost the gate input cost with the uh, nuts uh, is a uh, to include the uh, inverters uh, too so that's a physical meaning of uh, those three criteria here is another example uh, actually those two functions uh, are identical functions uh, the first function and those two functions are identical but the first one is expressed in the product of sums uh, the second one is expressed as sum of uh, a product of sums, uh, sums uh. so we have uh, a physical implementation here and we can calculate uh, literal cost gate input cost and gate input cost with the nuts so as you can see uh, using criteria of a G or GN we can see that the upper circuit is uh, more, more optimized than the second one so when you do boolean function optimization we need to consider a few things though but in, in this study in this chapter the primary criteria of optimization is a gate input cost g so we are going to use some optimization tool called a k map and the function expression is a tool level expression either sum of a product or product of sums so either one of the two forms is our goal of optimization with a gate input cost